So let's take a look at the steps that are needed to integrate one or more files into a CE6 operating system image. I've created a baseline operating system design based on CE6 and the Internet Appliance configuration of the operating system. I've also been working on a custom c -sharp smart device application that will become the custom shell of my CE6 operating system design. So here is the custom application. It's a very simple application in this case, just proving the point that we can integrate this application into the CE6 operating system design. And here's the location of the file on my development machine. So I'm just going to copy that location onto the clipboard. I'm now going to step over to a utility called CE FileWiz. Uh, this is a utility that is used to create custom platform builder component files for one or more files that you want to integrate into an operating system image. And we'll see how this links into Platform Builder in just a few seconds. So I'm going to add my custom c -sharp application by dropping in the location of the application, selecting the executable, and selecting Open. We can see that the file has been added into CE FileWiz. Uh, this is going to be dropped into the bib file for the custom component that gets generated as a file rather than a module because this is a compact framework MSIL based application. If I want to I could create a shortcut to a destination rather than having the application in the WAC Windows uh, folder location. I can give my component a name. In this case I'm going to give my component the name of uh, custom uh, C sharp shell and you'll notice that the parent folder that the custom component will be generated into is the WinCE 600 public folder and we're building a component for CE6. So I'm going to select build uh, that will generate the custom component we see that we get the done response coming back and now I can browse to my WinCE 600 folder and go to the public subfolder a new folder has been generated here called custom C sharp shell. If I expand that out, you can see that there are a number of files that have been generated, including bib, dat, db, reg, which is a registry file, uh, postlink, prelink, process gen, and so on, as well as a subfolder called catalog that contains a file which is a PBC XML or a platform builder catalog file in XML format. So that's the component being, that has now been generated. If I now come back to my operating system design, go to the catalog item view and hit refresh, we'll notice that we now get the custom C -sharp shell file component added into the catalog. I'll select this as a component, I want to add this into my operating system design. And now if I step back to the solution explorer view, you can see I now have a custom sub project that wraps up that application. If I expand this out, we can see each of the individual files that are needed to support this custom application, including the parameter files, which give me the ability to modify things such as the bib file, and here's the bib file showing the device application. Maybe also modifying the dat file so that I can redirect this application from the default Windows folder into a program files, some other folder name, location, and so on. So all I need to do here is just rebuild the operating system design or in fact right click and build this sub project to integrate this C -sharp application into my operating system design. Obviously there are some additional steps needed for me to be able to auto launch this application at the boot time of my operating system but that's beyond the scope of this small video.